Good morning guys and welcome to today's vlog. Today has been a little bit of a slow morning. Well, not too slow. We kind of like picked up around the house and got a lot of things cleaned up. Got a few loads of laundry done. And now what I'm doing is I'm getting the light in our bedroom hung up. Let me show you guys. We're replacing this one. This is it right here. That's what it's gonna look like. So I am working on getting this installed right now and then I think we're gonna go out, maybe go grocery shopping. Okay, so we got the light hung up. It looks so cute. These are the light bulbs from the old light. So I actually ordered some new ones that are like a little bit more modern. They're clear. So those are on back order and we can just put these in like other places when they go out. But it looks so cute. I feel like it just like completes the room. I actually just did a room makeover video and I'm really mad that we didn't get this up like in that video, I just didn't even we think about have, it. I know. So if you guys haven't seen that video, it just went up on my channel, so the link is down below. I kind of just showed like cleaning up our room and putting some stuff on the walls and like reorganizing some stuff. So links down below if you guys want to check it out. But the light was the finishing touch. It looks so <laughs> cute. I'm obsessed. So what else? We need to switch out the mirror in the bathroom, in the little bathroom by the laundry room. What else? We need to go to the grocery store. We were gonna go Christmas shopping today, but I think we're gonna actually do that tomorrow. So we're just gonna do some random things the house today and then go grocery shopping okay so i also want to open this package it's from target and i ordered something from there probably like over a month ago and what did you order? it's a vase but i don't know if that's what this is because basically i found the vase online and i thought it was really cute but it was sold out i think it was before i moved and then Months later, I went on Target and was like, oh, I wonder if they have that. And they did. And so then I ordered it. And then literally the next day, I like went on to Target's website again and it was sold out. So then I kept getting emails saying like, oh, we have to, this is not the vase. Cool. What is it? I have no idea. Oh, wait, this is one of your Christmas presents. Box opening gone wrong. I thought it was going to be the vase, but anyways. Like it looked like it's not sheets. No. You got me pink sheets? Babe, it's not pink and it's not sheets. Thanks. Anyways, they keep emailing me saying like, oh, we had to push back the delivery on the vase. We had to push it back. We had to push back like four times now. So I'm worried it's going to get canceled and it's like the cutest vase ever. So I was so excited when I thought that's what this was. Guys, she officially figured out how to jump over this box because it's shorter than the rest. So the DIY doggy gate is kind of a fail, but... She's doing really good at potty training, so I feel like it's not as big of a deal. But next, we're gonna switch out this mirror. Did you get it off? Oh, good. Yep. Oh. Oh, no. It was just a big blob of glue. Oh, okay. Well, anyways, yeah, we didn't pick this one out. It's just what came with the house. And we have this one over here that we had in our old house. So we're actually gonna hang that up instead. Okay, so the mirror is up. It's way cuter than the other one, but it was hard to decide like where to hang it because now there's kind of an awkward gap here, but then there's also an awkward gap here because these lights are so high and we're planning on eventually replacing these. So maybe when we do that, we'll lower the mirror. I don't know. The other one kind of like filled the space a little bit better, but this one's cuter. So yeah, we'll just see eventually if we end up like shifting it up or down when we change out those. Also, we had another little house fail because I told you guys a while ago that I ordered some curtains and because we have the taller ceilings I didn't realize that the curtains were gonna be too short so my grandma is like a master sewing person so I asked her if she could like I ordered another curtain so she could cut it up and sew that curtain to the bottom of the other ones I have to like add to the length so we took the curtains down at Thanksgiving and I had forgotten to measure like the height of the curtain rod to know how much I needed her to add so I did it when we got home she was like it's okay just like let me know when you get home and I'll mail it to you Parker measured it and it was 98 inches and I'm an idiot and I told her it was 89 inches so we hung them up today and they are too short because I'm stupid so you guys can see they don't quite reached the ground. I feel so bad. I texted her and told her that I messed up and she was like, no, that literally took me all day. Apparently this fabric was like really hard to work with. So I seriously feel so, 
so bad. She told me to send them back, so I think on the way to the grocery store, we're also gonna stop at the post office, and we also need to run by the bank. It's currently 2.45 p.m. I hate running errands this late in the afternoon because it gets dark so early now. It's dark at like 4.30 and like totally black by five. So Parker's finishing up showering, getting ready. I'm gonna change and we're gonna go run the errands really quick. I actually wrote down some like recipe ideas. I just have some like breakfast, lunch, and dinner ideas and they're all pretty easy actually. I'm like, wait, what recipes did I write? But it's literally like tacos, what I need, beans and tortillas and salsa. Yeah, just with everything being so crazy, I feel like, and me traveling and like being out of town, I feel like I just haven't been eating healthy for the past like week or so, so I wanna get back into it. Also guys, today, the podcast that I did with JC and Chelsea went up, so if you guys saw the vlog where I was at JC's cabin, you might have seen when we filmed this, so I'll link it down below. Their podcast is the What We Said podcast, and it is one of my favorites. I love it so much. I listen to every episode, so I was on it, and I'm so nervous to like, listen to it because I just suck at like talking. Like I say like too much, and I'm not good at telling stories. You guys know from all my times I ever try to explain anything. Hopefully it's good. I feel like we had a good conversation, so I'm excited to listen to it and hopefully I don't sound like a goon. I think that's all for the update right now. So I will see you guys when we are in the car going to the store. All right, so we're going to the store. We're listening to the radio. Macklemore is on. Mac Parker said, oh, remember when we went to that concert? I think we were in like, it must have been like junior year. Yeah. He did a concert in Southern Utah and the tickets, I like didn't buy tickets to go. The tickets were tw originally $20. I decided last minute I wanted to go, so I think I was posting like, oh, who has a ticket that I can buy, blah, blah, blah. This guy that I was like kind of friends with, like not that good of friends, but like we went to the same school, we were like kind of friends, we'd hung out. I guess it was literally years ago, so I don't remember, but I think he like messaged me and was like, oh, I have some I'm selling. He, keep in mind, I didn't know the original price of the tickets. I had no idea. I just really wanted to go to the concert. Yeah, you should have looked into that. He sold me the tickets for $200 each, each. Yeah. I will never forget that. And then sometimes now he's like, oh yeah, like we should hang out. Like he's married. So it's like, oh like, yeah, like double date, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, bro, you owe me. And then I think I like didn't have anyone to go with or something, or like I wanted to go with a friend. And I told her like, oh, I found tickets, blah, blah, blah. But they're like this much in like and a normal like, high school student. Whoa, was not no gonna pay way that. I'm paying that. Yeah, no. So I th I literally paid for two of them. It's not like I spent two hundred dollars. I spent four hundred dollars. And then get this. So I went to that same concert, and <laughs> I went for free because I snuck in. Yeah. And I got in for free, and so we had the same experience. My experience was probably better actually. I had fun. I made it to the front row. Did for you? A second. Yeah. So get this. I made it to the front row, and I have a friend. He introduced me to Macklemore. I'm not kidding you the second he released his first song. I get up to the front and I look over and he's probably like five people away from me, just like on the fence yeah. right there. And I was screaming as loud as I could and I could not get his attention. And he was five people away That's from me. Funny. That's how crazy loud it was. Yeah, it was insane. It was like a mosh pit. And now I like hate stuff like that. There's been so many times when our friends have gone to like concerts, like now that we're a little bit older and they've gone to like, just like general admission. Like, can you think of anyone they've gone to? Tyga or something, I don't know. Like people like that where the concerts are like crazy. And if uh, we ever yeah. get invited, I'm like, no, I cannot. I feel like I Flatbush cannot, Zombies would be a crazy I don't even know who that is. Yeah, the point is always do your research before you buy concert tickets yeah. because I spent so much money just because I was an idiot. But the concert was really fun, so it's fine, but I will never forget that. Okay, so we made it to the grocery store, doing some shopping. We've got all healthy stuff. I think we should get two bags of those. We've got all healthy stuff, except for Aspen's donuts. That's yours. Aspen needed a treat, had to get some. <laughs> That's not true. Okay, I then let's, then let, yeah, I was gonna say, let's pull it out and see what's it's not missing. Me. I didn't even get one, I'm trying to eat healthy. Yeah, well, yeah, we're trying. And I need to go back to the gym. I haven't been to the gym since we moved up here. We gotta do that. But yeah, for now, we're doing some shopping. We are being super adventurous today and trying a new flavor of hummus. You're so funny. <laughs> Guys, Parker tends to buy things and then like not really eat them all. So if it's something kind of weird, I'm like, are you sure? Like, are you gonna eat it all? So just really, he was like, 
What? Oh good, yeah, get the single serving. See, that's perfect. But anyway, so, so he was like, oh, I want some eggnog. I can't go the whole, the whole holiday season without eggnog. And I was like, okay, well these are like big things, so are you gonna drink it all? And I think his parents are coming up this weekend, so he's like, oh, you know what, yeah, I'll wait till my parents come up and we can go get a glass of eggnog as a family. <laughs> Why don't you go get a glass? I said it as a joke. <laughs> no, obviously. it was so serious. Is Totino's the best frozen pizza? Yes or no? Vote in the comments. Let's see, I got some veggie patties last time and they were so good. Where's the one that I got? I don't see it. Found it. These are super good. These look super good too. Oh, those do look good. Let's get them. Um, we like hash browns for breakfast. Grab some of those. Yuma, we got you a tree at the store. Do you want it? Where are you going? No. Do you like it? You're so cutie. Oh my gosh. <laughs> all right guys, so we are back from the store. Luma's over here playing with her new toy. That's gonna be all for today's vlog, so hopefully you guys enjoyed watching. Today, we're gonna give away a $100 gift card to Luca and Gray. So if you guys wanna enter, all the information is in the description box down below. We hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Lumi, say bye. Here, look. I don't think the bell will get her to say, say bye. bye.